Okay, here in this video we're going to try to demonstrate the importance of equal tension on both your uh, strands when you're tying one-handed knots, which is very hard to do sometimes when there's limited room down in the pelvis, but this is what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to try to show the difference and why it's important. So, say here's your one-handed tie. You want to come down, equal tension on both sides, as close to the knot as possible. That way you get a lot of tactile feedback on your knot. See if it's cinching down anymore. You can tell what's to stop it cinching down. Then the next thing it's going to do is break. So go back to the middle finger throw. Cross. Index finger. Again. Nice, pretty, square knot. This is what happens when you don't have equal tension on your sutures. So you start here, index finger. Now, a lot of times you'll see somebody pull up tension here to keep it cinched, and they'll push this finger down here, like so, okay? Then they'll come, they'll do their middle finger throw. Do the same thing. Back to the index finger. I'm running out of suture here. A lot of tension here. And you can see the difference between these two knots. You zoom in. The square knot's exactly like it should be. But when you look at these, these are actually half hitches in opposite directions. They're back to back half hitches, but you can tell that one strand, it's hard to demonstrate, one strand is essentially straight, it goes all the way through. You can see that that's going to be a really weak knot. Like, I can separate this knot with just not even trying, just pulling on it. Don't even need the sutures, and it just comes right through all of this. Look how loose that knot is. Alright, so you got to avoid back-to-back -back half hitches. They don't work. Function. There's a functional, you know, deficiency in back-to-back -back half hitches, and that's why you got to have these uh, square knots. 